Yo, what's going on guys? My name is The Channel. Welcome to episode 12 of Game Programming. One more thing before I begin. Yesterday's video, episode 11, didn't really publish correctly, like at all. I don't know what happened to YouTube. I wasn't the only problem. I mean, obviously I was not the problem. Let me just try that again. I wasn't the only, um, I guess, content creator who actually experienced issues. It was like site-wide. Um, people's videos um, didn't actually publish to the homepage. They did publish. So in other words, they were live on the channel page and they were live in the actual, um, let me just show you guys actually. Let's open YouTube real quick. Look over here, if you go to like, I don't know, like let's just say Hutch, right? Um, they, they wouldn't be on the front page, but they would be on the actual, like over here. So if you did click on my name here and you, uh, you checked it out, you know, you'd see, um, <clears throat> you'd see my video, but you wouldn't see it on your actual subscriptions page. So you might have missed it. If you did, it, it did actually come out yesterday, last night, as usual. Um, and just go to my channel, check it out. It'll be like right there on my channel. So just keep that in mind, okay? Um, and in the future, if you see like a video that doesn't come out, that, that's actually why I ask you guys to follow me on Twitter and Facebook. In case something, something like, like this happens, I always link it. So in other words, um, a lot of people actually see it before it even publishes to any anything on YouTube. So a lot of people actually catch the video while it's still processing and sort of catch it before YouTube fully publishes it. So if you do follow me on Twitter and Facebook, you will never miss a video that I put out. So that's just a pro tip for you. Okay, anyway, back to this. So yesterday we took a look at actually um, managing, you know, getting off the screen. Now there is a problem. I'm gonna quickly reset this back and we're gonna deal with, with another part of Array Index Out of Bounds and that is the opposite of this. So if I just put it like this so you guys can see it properly, we'll make it like 50-50, uh, even like 150 or something. Okay, so we're traveling slowly now, there's time, to, there's time for me to talk. We manage this problem when it gets off the screen. Now the problem is if we actually reverse this, so I'm just gonna come in here and change this to minus minus. Um, one more thing actually, a lot of people ask if they should take this code down, including Y time, you don't have to, okay? I'm literally showing this to demonstrate to you how it works. I will, I will be getting rid of this code. I'll be getting rid of these two variables. Um, and I will be replacing these back with X and Y in the for loop, okay? I'm just literally just taking the time to actually explain to you guys how this works because that is the point of the series, to take it nice and slow and to teach you guys how and why everything works. So if I reverse it like I did here, right? So what's gonna happen is this variable starts at 150 respectively, but it's gonna get smaller. So we're gonna go the opposite way. Now what's gonna happen is, oh, we've hit it. There we go, a crash. Now, why is there a crash? Because again, it's still out of bounds. Remember, we range, uh, if I go to variables, we range from zero to nine, uh, to zero to 50,399. I've tried to access a negative um, index. That does not exist. That is still out of bounds, okay? If it's over, if it's too much, or if it's too little, so in other words, negative, then that causes an array index out of bounds exception. How do we deal with that? Pretty simple, okay? What we've got here is if y time is greater than or equal to height, we break. It's pretty simple. To fix this, all we need to do is say that if y time is actually less than zero or if it's greater than height, let's break, okay? Simple as that. We've done greater than height, so in other words, that's when it gets out of the screen going down. When it gets out of the screen going up, it's gonna be less than zero. And we can say that if it is less than zero, let's break. And we, we need to do the exact same thing for X. I assume you guys know how, um, how this uh, works in terms of um, the actual if statement. Obviously we've got if X time is less than zero and then this, this little double pipe thing um, means or. So in other words, if this statement is true or this statement is true, do this, so break, okay? And um, I think I explained break last time. But now we can, uh, we can run this and you'll see that um, we're fine. We don't crash. So that's the basis. That, that's the basics of, um, or the basis of, of how this is gonna work. And if we just get rid of Y, you can see that the X works as well. So here we are traveling nicely. And then we're gone. So um, that is how that works. Um, all we got now is, uh, probably next time. So tomorrow we'll take a look at what are we going to do next? No clue. Um, hmm. Probably next time. Hmm. What's next? I have no idea what's next. Uh, we'll probably move on to beginning. Um, 
Ooh, ooh, I know. Um, before we begin building tiles, um, we'll actually um, probably add like a um, like a, a, an FPS counter as well as a timer to actually control um, this and make sure that update only happens 60 times a second. Okay, so we'll add a timer tomorrow. Um, but until then, guys, make sure to like the video if you did like the video, and I will see you guys. Uh, see you guys tomorrow. Bye.